ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask to have a chat with you so that you can help us to communicate that bit. Thank you very much. And maybe just to uh, let us know what was the issue, what was the condition? Without, so without going into the confidential bits about his doctor-patient confidentiality, he has some stomach issues. Uh, he has since been undergone several tests. They are waiting for some, some tests. The results are out, some are not. So he's waiting for some results within the day today, mm -hmm. which will then inform what happens tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He's likely to undergo admission here for quite a while. So for now, we leave it at that without going to the specific details. Mm -hmm. yeah. As of now, what is the progress and how long has he been in the hospital? He was admitted yesterday evening around uh, 3 p.m. Uh, the progress, as I've said earlier, brilliant, mm -hmm. superb very well done job by the hospital and the medical team here at Nairobi West Hospital. Uh -huh. Maybe I know uh, we have uh, some people who are kidogo ameshtuka kukuona hapa hivi. What's your relationship with uh, Chipukizi? Uh, Chipukizi since when he started his comedy staff has been my friend. Um, uh, he's, uh, he's in Tala where he's building a primary school. He's invited me there, we've done Harambe's there, we've built the school together. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, we run an organization called Radical, which is a group for empowerment of young people mm -hmm. in politics. Mm -hmm. So that's our relationship. It's uh, mostly professional, but it has since metamorphosis into friendship. Uh -huh. And definitely a question that is running through uh, many people's mind is uh, maybe have you uh, seen a fellow artist maybe coming to visit him? Yeah, I've just, uh, I've just when I was walking out, I met a person you were with at the Talanta Hela. I uh, were with uh, Eddie Butita yesterday mm -hmm. here, and I'm sure now because it's, this time the information is going out, I'm sure you, you have Jim Olem say was also here. Mm -hmm. it, I, I'm sure because this is the time that the thing is metamorphosizing, a lot of people will be coming in mm -hmm. and we'll keep you updated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. uh -huh. Okay, which rating can you give the musician so far according to the progress of Chipukizi? Uh, sorry, I didn't get that properly. I'm inquiring the rate that you can get the musician their cooperation with Chibukizi. I've seen that debate online on whether or not he's been supported by the local art community. I think Chibukizi is too strong to rely on just basically the external support. I think he's received support from his friends. He has received support from the artistic community. I mean, I've had calls from even his mentors, like uh, this morning I had a conversation with one of his biggest uh, mentors who brought him into, who gave him a platform into the comedy show. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think, uh, I, I, and, and the whole of uh, the African artists who were with him, this, just now we had a chat with them, the ones who had confirmed the consumers and the rest of the people from Africa. So we have just informed them about the sickness. And from Kenya itself, I think so far so good. I think he's received some good support. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All okay. right. And uh, uh, Dennis, it's Moya here. I would love to, to know, uh, Chief Kizi also works so close to the president. Has the president got the information which he has been uh, admitted and who has been received? Uh, unfortunately, I haven't, uh, haven't briefed the president, but uh, as soon as he's back from Tanzania this evening, I will have him briefed. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, my question goes direct to you. You have been, uh, it's now over nine months since you won the election, being in, uh, in the government, the current government constitution. What is the progress so far or the achievements? I knew it would go there. So <laughs> I, I would recommend that we have another day and I will address myself. I mean, I'm going to unveil a few products that I would want us to be communicating with. So I would say today we keep it chipokizi, but I hear you and I agree with you. I mean, if I just walk out of here and haven't spoken government, then you don't have a good story. <laughs> but let's keep it there. Then I am sure I will be calling you again. I'm impressed by the growth of these digital newsrooms and I can be sure I will make this a big thing. I will give it my support. Okay, okay. Uh, if, uh, I have a question. Uh, if maybe the bill comes out, because it still works for the government, will uh, you and the government come for him? Chipukizi has no bill to pay. We will handle the bill. Mm -hmm. And it's not government handling the bill. His friends will handle the bill. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, you know, let's also give government. Is, government is for the, all, all of Kenyans. They have to do an, an insurance for all Kenyans. But as his friends, surely we can afford a bill for Chipukizi. Mm -hmm. He will not work here with money spent from his pocket. Mm -hmm. So if I may ask, how, after how long should we expect to see Chipukizi? 
I, this, I am only able to answer that question this evening, so I'm sure we'll exchange contacts. I'll give you a lady called Yvonne who is with me here. She will keep you briefed in case of anything, so that then you can be able to know. I would be unable because I'm not the doctor, but I'm sure once the results are out, the doctor will be able to advise. Maybe just before we leave, uh, I know uh, many Kenyans are expecting to hear from you. Uh, the Baba Tumechoka thing, signatures in Mexican uh, the last time I checked, that was last uh, last evening, mm -hmm. it was going towards uh, 8 million. I will have to get the right figure, mm -hmm. but I will get you the figure, but it's around 8 million. And mm -hmm. the fact that we started a month after Baba, mm -hmm. that shows that uh, the platform is doing very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe what next after uh, the votes? Once the signatures are in, we are going to go to Parliament for a review of the Presidential Retirement Bill, mm -hmm. so that then we can have... It revised for anyone who is involved in politics not to be a benefit of it because that is a law. If you get yourself involved in politics, then you don't get the money from the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. You get to choose, are you retired mm -hmm. or are you active in politics? Mm -hmm. If you're active in politics, you look for your money in politics. If you have retired, you continue enjoying your retirement. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, we can put one, uh, the is Peter, when he comes back, he lands back, eh? he'll be engaging Baba. What's your take? Oh, no. Well, the president said, let's wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there a possibility of uh, something like a handshake out of the discussion? I, you know those things are above my pay grade. It's the president and Baba. They are up there. This is what we are doing on town. Kama nyinyi kwa TV. So watch out ngoje. Then sometimes you are you are you 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 post very uh, good things. Sometimes you post very funny things. People would love to know. Are you the one who run your? Uh, yeah, who, who handles your social media accounts, maybe you have someone. Ah, uh, well, I, I, I have people who manage my social media accounts, but I also post on my social media accounts. Okay. So, but at 99% of the time, I'm posting. Mm -hmm. okay. So, it's the caption and everything is posting, it's always your view. Okay. Completely, 100%. Mm -hmm. okay. But if you're asking for a job, we can talk on the side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, just, just go. Just, oh, there is this blogger, Mwenye Ali Shikwajuzi, the Azimio blogger. Maybe you can tell us something about that. That's poly. Well, first of all, I am completely opposed to anyone, including you guys. If any of you is ever arrested and charged on cybercrime law, please call me. Mm -hmm. I may not do much, but at least I'll get your lawyer. Mm -hmm. As for the specific case of Pauline Jaroge, where I think is appearing in court today again, for mention, this is what I have to say. The charge of cyber harassment is total nonsense. Who can harass William Ruto, President William Ruto, on social media? I mean, we have had insults from 2019, 2018, and before that he had even more insults. Why would anyone take, why would the DPP think that that is a, that is a crime that deserves to be charged? I am completely opposed to those kind of things because mm -hmm. I have been charged on those laws. Mm -hmm. They are the most stupid things. I have won, they have charged me four times, I have won four times, and I'm in court making money from them. Why should you continue doing the same wrong thing over time? Mm -hmm. Those, the cybercrime law in this country needs an urgent review. As it is now, it is, it is, a, it is a law that was made for the typewriter. The, the people who made that law did not envisage the error of the computer. It is a law in brief that should be deleted from our society. Maybe you speak to TV, now your friend, as Chipukizi, fight hard, my brother. Fight hard, my friend. Get healed soon. Uh, sit asema ugua pole and asema pona haraka. And I uh, really wish him well. And I wish that he gets out so that he can get back to what he does best. He's, he works for the presidency and he also has a comedy plan for universities that he wants to roll out. And uh, both universities and high schools that he wants to roll out from September. So I wish him very quick recovery. By the way, guys, in December this year, for Jamuri Day, we are celebrating. With the theme for Jamuri Day this year is creative economy, the sports and the arts. And so Chipukizi will be playing a key role in ensuring that the creative economy has its space. And we have a whole one week of celebration. Remember that this year we are also doing Kenya at 60. Kenya is turning 60 years old. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we need Chipukizi to be healed quick enough we can begin planning. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can ask my friend uh, Karondo, who is with me here and he's also, uh, he's also the vice chair of Radical, where Chipukizi plays a key role, just to say something. Just a question. Just uh, let him speak and then I'll take the question. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. My name is Charles Karondo, Vice Chair Radical Movement. And uh, we are basically here to wish our brother and our friend Chipukizi uh, a quick recovery. And also, we know this has come at a very difficult time. 
because of course he had the show planned out and uh, he had so many guests that we were anticipating from across Africa. Of, over, 11, uh, over 11 celebs from across Africa and also the Kenyan celebs. So having, for us having to convince him to cancel that uh, or to postpone that event to another day was a hard decision. Uh, but I want him to know that uh, sometimes and actually everything happens for a reason. So we wish him well, we wish him success and a quick recovery. And I'm sure he will get back better and bigger after this. So from the Radical family, we are here to show solidarity to our friend and our brother, Asanteni. Then it's just to add two questions. One, uh, we've seen uh, police officers impersonating as journalists. The video, there was a video going viral, the journalists were mishandled at Vilimani uh, Court uh, earlier this week. I don't know if you have something to comment on that. Second is that we've seen so many bullying, so many trollings uh, on our president, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Is there a chance that uh, our president will put social media? <laughs> uh, let me start with the second one. Absolutely no chance. That's why I started by saying there can never be cyber harassment like they claim on that charge on uh, the blogger who was charged in Malindi. There cannot be cyber harassment on President William Ruto. William Ruto has had uh, all those kind of exchanges for a long time. We understand the opposition has its place. They must do their thing. If their thing is insults, it is their right to insult. In fact, in my view, it is also in the freedom of speech, it is also a freedom to insult. You have a right to insult if you so wish. So I don't, I, I do, we are not, William Ruto is not getting out of social media. In fact, uh, he should be, uh, he should be getting on the, late, he should be forming a WhatsApp channel now that WhatsApp channels are open in Kenya. Um, number two was... Regarding to, uh, police <laughs> okay, so on the harassment of journalists, sorry, I, I, I do not have the facts on what really happened, but uh, if, if journalists were harassed, that deserves an apology. We, however, need to put this debate into context. Let's also talk about the policemen. Yesterday you heard that five of them were injured, one of them died. Who is speaking about them? 305 were injured. One, uh, 35 are in hospital, I think, or 305, one dead. Let's also talk about them. They also have families, they are also children of people. So, as we speak about the conversation about the whole, uh, the, the whole bit, let's also talk about the policemen. For the people who died during this protest, we condole with their families and wish them, wish them quick recovery for the ones who are in hospital. For the ones who died, we wish their families fortitude and God's own comfort that only he can offer to them. Those include the policemen who were involved in it. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have to say on that bit. What about the police officers maybe impersonating uh, journalists? You saw that video. I, um, I, I saw the video, I saw the gentleman who, I, I do not think he was impersonating journalists. A policeman can have a camera. Did you know policemen have a media department, by the way? That is not impersonating, it's police doing their job. Mm -hmm. So I do not think there was any impersonation. Mm -hmm. it, is a, the, it, it, it is the interpretation of you guys mm -hmm. on what it was as opposed to what it is. Policemen have a whole, even the military has a whole media department. Mm -hmm. So when you see them with cameras, there are police also who do camera work and media like you guys. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe my last question from me. Uh, last week we also, Babo Arino was arrested before uh, Wednesday and uh, later on he said that Mambo hayakuwa sawa na dhulumiwa, inachukua muda kabla ajapelekwa makamani. I don't know what you have to say about that. Well, the law, it's in the court, so I'll leave the court to do its process. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have my talk once the court makes a decision. Uh -huh. I'll have my say at that point. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, the, the, the last question from me. Uh, do you think that um, Mandamano it has come to an end? Well, I don't know. I think uh, I'm waiting for... There are, there are somewhere, I think, Mamalusi Hospital going towards some hospital? Let's see, let's hear. I mean, if, uh, if they continue from now on, we will have shopping festivals in town. Whenever there is Mandamano, we will also be announcing a shopping festival in town to do shopping. Mm -hmm. So that we can encourage our people to continue opening shops and we can continue sustaining the SMEs. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether Mandamano will go on or not. It's up to them. Mm -hmm. But if they go on, we will counter it to the shopping festival uh -huh. from now on. Uh -huh. Just a point of if may I ask, how much the cost of your suit? Mi ni mkulima mdogo, nda kuonesha ile shop ni uenda, ni kupatia hiyo plug alafu tuone ni aje. Do you still have the same friends you had before joining Kenya Kwanza? 
Absolutely. You know, I didn't join government yesterday. I've been in, uh, within government corridors from 2013 before we disagreed with some people in 2019, then came back. I have kept my friends throughout. Throughout. I mean, power and access to power does not necessarily mean you are the person with the power. And then number two, it shouldn't change who you are. Mm -hmm. But I think today I've made new friends in this team. So let's be friends. Mm -hmm. So I, I've kept my old friends, but I keep making new friends. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. And as we finish up, maybe talk to Kenyans. Wow. Uh, well, Kenyans, for today, I would just be asking you to pray for Chepukizi so that he can get back his health and we are able to, he's able to come back to his bit. We also do ask that uh, as we go towards the Bamba harvest, please also communicate as you have communicated about the prices dropping down. Gas has gone down, electricity tokens are buying more than they were buying a few days ago. Today I've just been told uh, that uh, tomatoes have gone down. Uh, from, I've looked at a few markets. Uh, we have a view of 235 markets in Kenya. At least two markets have reported that uh, 10 bob per kg of tomatoes. So I think we, the prices are also going down on some items. As much as you have reported about prices going up, also report about prices that are going down. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Thank you for okay. your time. Uh, Yvonne, this, this beautiful girl is called Yvonne. We work with her. I will leave her with you. Major mm -hmm. Pierre lunchtime so that she makes sure she buys some lunch. And then so in case of anything, let, let her know she'll keep you updated. Okay. So then also kindly share your number so that we also have a, I also have it in the office. We can keep talking when you have something. Senor, right. thank you guys. Thank you.